Angel. Good morning, Angel. So I actually just ran over my foot. I'm in a lot of pain. Don't feel bad for me. We're gonna continue this uh, video. <laughs> because it was requested um and i just wanted to do i felt like doing it you know i had the rona for <coughs> pretty much the entire month of april another day another migraine if you want to hear my experience go listen to my podcast overly caffeinated and you can hear all about my rona experience my symptoms all that stuff oh why must every 11 minutes of my life be filled with misery <laughs> i don't want to bore you with that today today we're going to be talking all about <coughs> oh my goodness this is going to be quite the video you guys are going to be dealing with my flimmy self we're talking all about my top skincare um, we're going to be talking about what I've loved and um, just kind of like showing you guys what's worked for me. I have not gotten paid from any of these brands. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. It's just stuff that I buy at Ulta, Sephora, and online. So I'm going to show you guys um, starting with like self-tanner and then we'll move into all the other stuff that, you know, self-tanner and body care and then we'll move into face stuff. So my skin is going through it right now. I um, I don't know if it's like a side effect, honestly, from being sick for the whole month of April, but I have breakouts everywhere. My skin has been splotchy. It's been kind of a nightmare. So I'll be the first to admit, <clears throat> I have not been keeping up on my skincare how I normally do because when you're sick, all you wanna do is just lay and literally I was like a corpse in bed. I was like this for days i let my dogs lick my face which is disgusting um i basically slept on the same pillow without washing it i was sweating into it so my skin is disgusting right now if you want to see my skin before you can go look at other videos it probably looks a lot better but since you're here i thought i'd give that disclaimer before i'm like hey i recommend all these and you guys are like oh my god i'm never gonna buy anything like that because i don't want to look like this i get it i totally get it Keep in mind, you also probably don't sleep face first in a like sweaty pillow. So there's that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use for body. Um, this is my favorite bronzing mousse. So I did just order a custom made bronzing mousse from a um, tanning salon that I've used in Minnesota. So I actually got um, tan for my first competition ever was up in Minnesota at this tanning salon. Absolutely love the owner. And she was like, hey, I wanna make you a custom tanning formula. So I'm gonna try that out and I may do like a review on it. Um, but for now, Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, um, is my go-to for everything bronzer. I also like Isle, I think it's called Isle, <clears throat> Isle Tan, not sure, but this comes out and I'm not gonna spray it on my hand because it, is such a fast acting formula. But this comes out um, just as like a foam, like kind of like a foamy mousse. And it's super easy to apply. You just use a um, microfiber mitt. You rub it in. I still have a little bit of it on. You can see it's just like a nice kind of um, golden glow. The color is really good on it. So huge fan of the mousses. I don't like the lotions. I feel like the lotions are streaky. I over apply it. It's just a mess. I just do one pump each leg, sometimes a little more on the booty, you know, get a little definition. Um, and then one pump abs, stomach area, and then one pump for the chest, <clears throat> one pump each arm, and we're good to go. And then I just use the leftovers on my hands. Um, so absolutely love that for tanning. And then for everyday body care, I bought this in every single scent. This one is the Milk and Honey i am obsessed i still can't smell i still can't taste anything but um this was <clears throat> yeah no thanks rona but this was my favorite 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 um firming lotion i really like it i don't know if it actually firms like i i don't i haven't like been paying attention to the difference in my skin but i just noticed that my skin stays hydrated all day the brand is steel fit and tone and this is a bodybuilding brand, so of course it's like this body firming, the contouring lotion with 3% Unislim. 
and it's 24 hour moisture. I just love the scents. I love how my skin feels. I've used this bottle every single day for like a month and a half and it's still full. So <clears throat> it's a great, great, great lotion. A little goes a long way. Absolutely love it. The scents are amazing. The cranberry smells like Christmas to me. So if you're into that, having like Christmas on your skin, it's a good lotion. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the face wash. I'm gonna kind of do these in like an order. We're actually just kidding, we're still on body. So I bought this when Sephora had its sale. It is the replica and it's in lazy Sunday morning. This, like I can't smell anything right now, but this, <coughs> when I did smell it, was absolutely amazing. Love, 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 love the scent of this. It's almost like how you would expect like a house to smell when you have like the candles going and you're just at home on a Sunday, your dogs and cat are like curled up and you're just watching like reruns of the housewives. This smells so good. It's just a very like cozy scent. Like it reminds me of like a really expensive throw blanket um, that you just like wrap around you with like a fire going and a candles burning. It just smells so, so good. So that is the Sunday morning by Replica. <coughs> and again, I got that during the 20% off sale um, that Sephora had for the VIB Rouge because I spend way too much damn money at Sephora. Like way too much. Um, but you know, it's okay. If you are a Sephora addict, a Sephora junkie, let me know your favorite products in the comments below. I'm curious, I wanna know and figure out what other stuff I need to splurge on, buy, try, all that stuff. So the next thing is this. Um, this is Skin Fix Barrier Plus Foaming Oil. This is almost completely empty. Um, I really liked this. It foams a little bit. Um, it makes your skin feel really good. It does not strip your skin, but it gets all the oil and all the makeup off. So really, really like this for cleanser. It's the Barrier Plus. Um, then I found this. Well, let's go into this first. So the Ordinary Glycolic 7% Toning Solution, absolute must. This is like a little mini chemical peel. It kind of burns and stings the skin, which I absolutely love. Um, I feel like it just gets the skin super clean. It tones the pores. I love it. I love a good um, pore toning solution. And I feel like this one was just it. So absolutely love that one. Um, this was something I got from my dermatologist. This one is the Retinol 0.1% cream. Um, and it's the intensive cream. And it is exclusive to physicians, so you have to go to a dermatologist for this. I like this um, for just evening out the skin. So I do use this at night, like one to two pumps at night. Um, it's just a basic, basically like a retinol. Um, I've tried the Ordinary's retinol. I like it. I don't know. I feel like I've tried so many retinols and my favorite is probably, oh my gosh, what's it called? Um, it's like the brand that basically like invented everything. It's like dermatologist only uh, and it's fleeing my mind. So if I remember it, I'll put it in the description box below. But it's like literally the one that does like the vitamin C and everything like that. They're like really big and known for that. Their retinol is the bomb. <coughs> it doesn't like strip the skin. It doesn't dry the skin. And pardon my coughing, you guys, I'll try and edit out as much of it as I can, but it is still really hard to breathe. But um, it's really hard for me to get like a full breath still. Like I'm like a long hauler. I still can't work out, still can't do a lot of stuff. I'm like surprised I'm even shooting a video. I just have to get a video up this week um, so you guys don't feel like I like died. Um, and so <laughs> I'm here. I'm alive. Um, but yeah so anyways um carrying on i saw emma chamberlain who i absolutely love i think she's hilarious um she started representing this company called bad habit um and i actually really like their products like i've tried this one and another product of theirs and so far so good so um bad habit it's it's just like a mist like you can just spray it whenever 
and it just feels really clean, really cool on the skin. I love a good mist for my purse when I'm not doing like little clutches just to spray and kind of wake me up because sometimes I can like look like resting bitch face or like I'm falling asleep. This really like. <clears throat> so <coughs> the next thing I'm going to review is the Bloom Cream Probiotic uh, Moisturizer. This one's by Beekman1802. 18 this, you just press on the top. You just press on the top, both sides like this, and it comes out. And so you don't ever have that contamination issue that you get with um, a lot of moisturizers. I have used this to the death. Like I'm pretty sure this one is almost out. Um, absolutely love this. I will be buying this over and over and over again. It's lightweight, but it's very moisturizing. It's super rich and my skin looks really good. It feels really good with this on it. Really highly recommend, especially for combo skin like your girls. So the next thing to show you guys is the ordinary products. And then I do have a Peter Thomas Roth in here too. Um, the PTR AHBH acne clearing gel. I don't know why I did not use this this past week. It is amazing. It works great. I love, love, love this stuff. So I actually like TMI, but um, whenever I get waxes like uh, Brazilians, I'll actually use this on my bikini line and it helps to prevent any ingrown hairs. Um, I just use it like twice a week, three times a week. And then I do use this on my face when I do a breakout and I love it. I think this is the travel size. I believe it comes in a bigger size than this, but I really, really enjoy that product. I have also used this for acne. You can see this one's like almost gone. This is the lactic acid 10% HA. It's really good. It's It kind of burns the skin, but it's not as intense as the red one. Um, it's just a really good formula for like everyday smoothing of the skin, helps to control acne, really love it. The next one is the nine minute side 10% and zinc 1%. This one is the huge bottle because I'm obsessed with this product. I have used this product every single day that I do my skincare regimen for like the past two years. Obsessed, won't even look at a different niaminicide um, product. This one just works really well for me. Be careful though with this, not to use a ton of it. I like to go a little heavy handed on my products and this one can start to kind of ball up on the skin and it creates kind of like a weird film um so i just use a little teeny bit of this and sometimes i will mix it with the buffet serum so this one's called the buffet serum this is your go-to if you are over 21 if you have ever you know seen a wrinkle in your life if you have ever wanted to prevent wrinkles i absolutely love the buffet serum so it's a peptide serum. I don't really know how it works. I just know that it does work. I love this. All my friends use it. They say that their skin is so silky. It just smooths the skin. <coughs> it feels amazing on the skin. So Buffet is incredible. And then around the eye area, I do use a caffeine solution. This is from The Ordinary as well. So this is a caffeine solution. Um, and this one, I absolutely love it. Helps to kind of depuff the eye area. It just helps to kind of brighten the eye area. So I will use this um, after I do my eye makeup. I'll take a little bit of this. It's very liquidy. I don't want to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's super liquidy, but it still has a little structure to it. So it kind of has that thickness to where you can take it. And I just put it under and I wipe off any of the eyeshadow and then I put my foundation on and concealer on. But this just helps to kind of depuff that eye area. It helps to kind of minimize um, any tiredness or any like weirdness around the eyes. And that's been my favorites for this past like six months um, for skincare, for body care. Like I wish I could smell because this smells so good. <coughs> it's just a very warm like happy fragrance so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe like the video leave me comments i love to hear from you guys like what are your favorites 
what are you really into right now? What do I need to try from Sephora or Ulta or wherever? Um, what have you tried that you absolutely didn't like and wouldn't recommend so that we can all avoid it and save us some shekels? What is it that you've tried that you're like, oh my God, I can't live without this? Um, is there any ordinary products that you use that you've used in a different way that you are like, oh my God, you have to try it this way? I'm curious, you guys know I'm an ordinary whore. I love ordinary products. They are absolutely amazing. I Every time I'm like at Ulta, I buy out all the red solution, which I didn't bring up here, but they have a red solution that literally burns your skin to a crisp and I'm obsessed. I love a good chemical peel. I did one yesterday trying to get this acne to behave. And I know that within the following days, my skin will just get better and better and better from it. So anyways, those are my tops. I love you guys. Have a great day, angels, and I'll see you in the next video.